a disaster. I, I thought what I was aiming with my camera at was the white board, but it wasn't, it was the white wall. So what I've done, I'm abstracting a sort of a, a view of, could be anywhere really, but of Brecon Beacons, Brecon, and I've primed this board uh, with some Plaster of Paris mixed in with PVA glue. And I've just put in a dark background on the top, a black at the bottom, I've just been painting over some hills, some fields, farms, and a foreground of bright bracken and some trees going over the top of that. Uh, so I'm sorry about that. So what I've done, I tried to create a, a dramatic sky with plenty of lights and darks, but the light I want underneath the uh, the clouds. Of course, there. All right. So I'm sorry that you missed the first bit, but you haven't missed much. I'm just dragging over the drying bits to create a sort of the sky. All right. And so I do apologise, but as I say, you haven't missed much. So I've just put in the basic colours of this abstract. I used to look at these sort of paintings far better than this in, in my arts books <coughs> and I thought well they're so unrealistic these colours but more word that they just sang and I just wanted to paint like it but it wasn't right at the time so let's just just add some different colours in here but no I don't want purple but just some brights and brights are Viridian and just just to add some cool cool calls to it. But that's dry. Acrylic dries very quickly, as you know. Right, uh, let's get some of that over there. Let's just mix it with a bit of white. I know that I can put a bit, bit of black for to contrast with the with the lovely, well, so lovely, the sky. So that's these hills coming up there. Uh, just a ridge on here. Right now, I want to put in some trees in this area here. So dark green, black, lemon yellow. Or mid yellow, it doesn't matter. Dark on that. And so you can go, you can put completely unrealistic colours in for all of this. Uh, Mix a bit of red with your, with your green. I might have to dark lighten behind. A little bit, but let's just get that in. This is so therapeutic doing all this. Um, right, let's just lighten in there, a bit more, nice cool light, that Viridian. Just, we'll just add white, a bit of white to it. Okay, uh, a bit of light in there. Mix a bit of yellow with that colour kind of as, as well. Right, now we've got at the bottom here some bracken. But I want to show that as simply as possible. So I'll use, I'll use one of these brushes here. So some white and uh, 
Yellow ochre. And a bit of sienna, burnt sienna, white, yellow ochre. Right, that seems to be about it. Now, there are some fields. So let's let's use it, using a bit of black and a bit of bit of bit of burnt umber. Let's just put in some some fields. No, no attempt at realism. I'm just putting in what I can see on a. On the photo that I'm working from, although this bears no relation to what I'm my idea. I don't want to do this with a brush, I want it more random. Need some light in there, so let's get that nice lemony colour. There's nothing to say you can't use a knife. Okay, well I'm not too bothered about that. I'll, I can uh, bring my tr tree back. In there, so it's a bit dark. Let's just get a bit of light on that horizon. That's a yellowy. Some nice lights. Here and there. You have a job to do that in oil. Right, okay. Uh, I do that any better or worse? Uh, it right? That looks all right. It's what it is. It's an abstract of Brecon beacons. It doesn't really exist other than on my board. It's taking an idea, whether it's your photograph or someone else's, but doing something totally different with it, just as an aid member. What, what's there basically? But add your lights and bits of red and just bits of yourself, really. Uh, any unpleasant shapes, I think that's not too good there. So, where's my... I'll use this fitch. Uh, I, I want that more 
yellow in, in here coming across. There's a, some farms showing through here. Uh, let's get some a bit more over there. I'll put too much black in there, I think. And then some nice, just lighten up that bit there. I think that's just a little bit light. That's It really is dark on that side. There's a lot of sun coming from underneath the clouds here, it's just shining through, just catching light spots. So, let's put some nice light spots in. Okay, well, I'm not going to do any more than that. I'll uh, put a signature on it. Um, if I can find a signature brush. Put it in white. Then we'll put it in a in the frame. Oh, well, let's say Sasha. Take everyone in the boat from there. Any of Vincent's crows. Right. Uh, in readiness, we'll put uh, a bit of uh, kitchen oil, paper, where I've been painting on, so that we don't get paint all over the frame. And we'll see what we've done, because a frame adds 50% to the picture. In my case, couldn't be a lot more, but uh, we'll just get my little frame and see if the picture fits it in it without a nail. Yep, it does just, just about. Okay, so there we have another little, little masterpiece of uh, tongue in cheek um, masterpiece. It's uh, uh, abstract of. A, a version of Brecon Beacons. I would have liked to have got more colour in, but uh, but I think that's quite a nice little painting. We've we've got a middle distance and uh, 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 begin, uh, uh, beginning, middle, and end. Plenty of colour in it. The sky. Well, we could probably put in some bits of uh, sky colour in the landscape. So let's have a let's have a let's have a go. While it's in the frame, while we've got a chance. A bit of warm. Plenty of light. White, as you say. Okay, just that, that'll, that'll do. No more. It's no when to stop, and I'll probably done too much. I hope you enjoyed watching that. I'm sorry you missed the beginning. But you didn't miss much, believe you me. It, it took seconds to put in the background and just put in those rough colours. But this was, uh, we, we've done a lot of work on that now. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed that. Bye bye.